AI1's technology enables you to build and use intelligent agents. Imagine if every device and application was able to learn like a human. This is the idea behind Nathan. Nathan is able to read and interpret the meaning of unstructured data. This solves problems that are common in text analytics, such as finding ideas that may be expressed with many different words, or where keyword search fails. It's also able to automatically classify documents by theme and identifying relationships and connections between different documents. The big idea of how Nathan works is that it is an intelligent agent. It is able to learn without programming, understands generalizable ideas, and is able to make decisions based on what it has learned. Nathan learns to represent reality. This is done through autonomic learning. It is able to learn without human intervention and can work with or without training sets. Nathan sees the connections of every word or byte pattern to develop very accurate models of data. It is able to see how words connect together. This is done by evaluating byte patterns, so it works with any type of digital data in any language. One of the benefits of this approach is that it provides deep insights into data while also reducing its size. For example, the human language has about a million words. The largest library in the United States, the Library of Congress, has about 20 trillion words. All of this could fit on a custom server with about 160 terabytes by simply storing the 1 million words on all of their connections. One of the interesting problems that AI1 solves is feature detection. Nathan is able to detect keywords, the words that have the most meaning in any data. These are the features that give the greatest meaning to any document, sentence, or paragraph. Even more impressive is that Nathan is able to determine the words that give keywords their meaning. We call these associations. It enables us to find similar ideas in different data sets. All of this comes together to provide contextual understanding. Nathan is able to see the similarity through associations, similar to the way a child can see a real-life caterpillar and recognize it as an animation. Graphs are a useful tool to help us understand how to use Nathan. Graphs are a mathematical representation using an array of vertices and edges. Nathan considers vertices to be keywords and edges to be associations. Graphs show connections and composition. They're unique like a fingerprint. Here we see a picture of me holding up a Raspberry Pi with my dog, my wife, the company I work for, my interest in classical music, and my friends riding the bike on a weekend. I am the only person that has this unique graph. Any event and any domain can be represented by a graph. For example, an opera performance can be represented by its sound, location, and the text of what was said. The bigger the graph, the more accurate the representations. Nathan enables us to harness the power of big data by making it more useful and providing deeper insights. Nathan's autonomic detection of graphs allow us to understand contextual problems. For instance, what if we wanted to deeply personalize a TV viewing experience? We can generate a graph of all of the new shows, look at the shows that I normally watch, and find the intersection of the two to find a fingerprint of the shows that I'll most likely want to see. Nathan can understand almost any type of data to detect patterns, features, and anomalies without any type of programming. This allows Nathan to solve extremely complex problems that would be difficult using rules-based approaches. Nathan outperforms competitive technologies offered by IBM, Google, Apple, and the open source community. For example, in a side-by-side -side comparison, Nathan is more than 10,000 times faster than space vectoring approaches such as latent semantic indexing and latent semantic analysis. Moreover, it's more accurate. Let's prove it by showing a demonstration of our analyst toolbox, which is a collection of three types of intelligent agents to mine unstructured data. Please contact us to see a demonstration. We also offer Nathan as an API for programmers to develop intelligent software. It is offered in three flavors, in the public cloud, private cloud, and as an embeddable API on devices. It is less than 200 kilobytes 
works with a JavaScript interface on a Node.js core using JSON inputs and outputs. It's an API that almost any developer can learn to use in less than a day. We expect Nathan APIs to be available to the general public in the fourth quarter of 2013.